No ESD. Ah! Buy an ESD bag. Please, buy ESD bags. They cost pennies. Oh, they really don't cost much to buy. Oh, look. They cost pennies. They cost pennies. Please buy ESD bags if you store in motherboards or if you send in motherboards in the post. Look, 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 look. I store my boards in ESD bags. Look. See? <sighs> anyway, if you're going to send things as board only, whoops, I stole that customer's back cover. If you're going to send things as board only, please buy an ESD bag for it before you send it. Yes, they're not as sensitive as they used to be for ESD and stuff, but it's going through big ass machines that are literally x raying the shit. Especially this, it's come from France, it's gone through customs machines. <laughs> you can't get away with that shit. <laughs> it's gone through a big ass x ray. It's not my problem if it gets damaged in transit, I guess. Right. So let's have a look at this then. Anyway, so apparently the LCD connector's damaged on it. Okay, yeah, so the LCD connector's damaged. We've got a pin missing. So unfortunately, I'm going to need to sort that out before I can do anything. So. What I normally do with these is hover it over the edge of the table and then just weigh it down with something to hold it in place. And then I can heat up from underneath the table or from underneath the board, so just here, and remove it without damaging any of the other components, like any of the other connectors. But if you're going to work on it, just take the NAND off because they are sensitive. So if you are going to do anything around the LCD, just take your NAND off. Because if you kill that, it's game over. Unfortunately. So I'm a hot air at 410 degrees Celsius. I'm going to preheat the board. But secretly I'm hunting for wherever the hell I've just put my freaking tweezers. Actually, you know what? I want a new pair of tweezers anyway. Let's go to console fix that shop and get some new tweezers. Yeah, specially reserved for the coder. Ha 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 ha. Specially reserved tweezers just for the coder. Oh yeah. Specially reserved tweezers just for me. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, these connectors are a pain in the back, so you to be honest, Retro. Uh, they're, they're not difficult to do, they're just... I do that many of them, I just get fed up with the damn things. There you go. Oh, the connector off. Just going to add some flux. So th this is the tip that's got like a little crevice in it sort of thing and I'd never used one until a couple of weeks ago and honestly I love it there we go right we get a brand new connector right, just zoom in there a little bit because if you get this wrong You'll end up shorting the LCD driver out. There we go. While it's still warm, I want to clean the board because otherwise it makes it pretty difficult to get rid of the flux. So I always like to clean it while it's still warm if I can. I mean, there shouldn't be that much flux inside the connector anyway because I didn't add any flux after I'd 
float it down so he will still have some flux traveling but it won't be anywhere near as bad yeah that's moving freely nice so the trick is just keep opening and closing the latch and just keep cleaning it and it'll push all of the flux out there you go should be good with that let's just inspect it it's off by a millimeter or so but it's fine as long as they're all making a contact that one there might not be so there's one pin just there which hasn't tinned as it's gone on no it's good it looks like it's just tinned underneath and that's it but no it looks solid enough Actually, now I'm looking at it on a different angle. It does look... It does look soldered. Let's grab a test housing. Oh, stop it, camera. Stupid thing. Yeah, the LCD connector goes in nicely. Or oh, the LCD ribbon goes in nicely, should I say. So let's just have a nose, see what happens when I try and pair it on. Nothing's going to happen, is it? Because it's got no NAND on it. That was nice and easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's, um, let's hook everything else up to it and test it then. High fan speed. Constant fan speed is not good. Or is it just my fan? The diode's there. There's a bit of flux around there, but can't see that causing it. Yeah, full fan. I'm sure that's coming through on the mic. But that shouldn't be doing that. Wait, it might actually just be down to flux. Yeah, it could just literally be down to flux in that connector. It shouldn't be doing that because the diode is there and the diode is appearing to work. And if the diode appears to work, then it shouldn't be doing it at all. Hmm. I'm just seeing if it's a contact issue on the connector itself. Unless my fan's damaged. Let me try another fan. Right, you can get tucked away for a minute. See ya. Yeah, there you go. It's a fan. It's my fan. So that's spinning, but it's not on high speed. Because the sense wire is not there, look, this fan here that I've got, it looks like the sense wire is damaged. Um, and because the sense wire is damaged, it can't sense the RPM of the fan, so it's just maximizing the fan speed, pump it, pumping out as much power as it can. With that one, it's nice and silent. Well, that solved that. So, happy days. I'll solve that one. Touch screen works. I can get rid of the fan. I know it works now. Actually, let's see if it ramps up. Just make sure the fan speed ramps up. And I'm going to artificially inflate the temperature. Yeah, it's ramping up. So I don't know how much of that's coming across on the mic. But it is ramping up the speed with the temperature. So, yeah, cool. It's good enough for me. Um, yeah, everything appears to be working on this. There you go. Uh, my batteries are dead in the Joy-Cons. Does it pick up Wi-Fi? Well, it's taking an awful long time to connect. Hmm. So is wireless signal poor? It's definitely not. Come on. Thank you. Right. Temporary glitch in the matrix, I guess. Uh, okay, well, yeah, everything else seems to be working fine. I haven't got a test going to hand immediately, so uh, I'll test that off stream, but unless I can see it to hand. No. And I'm not hunting for it. Yeah, everything else appears to be working fine. So that just needed an LCD connector, I guess. Which is good. 
and this one is working and I'm going to do the right thing on this there that's what I'm going to do and drop it in an ESD bag I'm going to call it good uh, I do need to label it there's his label that one will do I would print a label out for it but meh where's the fun in that Ha. So board number two, done. Cool, good stuff. Uh, I've got two other boards to work on for that customer, but uh, not tonight.